At Planet, our first mission is to image the entire Earth on a daily basis. In essence, we're building a time machine. And by that I mean we're continually collecting data instead of having to point and collect images. For example, in the event of a landslide, you would be able to go back into the archive and find a triggering event instead of just being able to look at the after effects and try to determine what had happened. Our team at Planet is dedicated to building the satellites that you see here. They're incredibly small. This is not a scale model. This is a, an actual satellite. And by being so small, we can iterate on them very quickly. We use affordable, off-the-shelf, but cutting-edge components. And this has afforded us to be able to deploy the largest satellite fleet in space ever. We use the International Space Station as a test bed. So testing out new satellite ideas, new concepts. And our operational satellites are in a sun-synchronous orbit. And this allows us a constant solar angle, which has consistent lighting conditions, ideal for imagery, as well as a consistent power input from the solar panels. There is a, a range of resolution, so depending on the altitude of the orbit that the satellites are injected into, we are generally in the range of three to five meters per pixel, which enables you to see houses, cars, large ships, but importantly, you can't identify an individual human. Images come down from space uh, through our ground station network, and then they're entered into an autonomous processing pipeline. Once the images hit our ground stations, they are immediately kicked back up into the cloud. And we have servers around the world that immediately begin processing the imagery. So that includes color correction, orthorectification, calibration. Once all the processing is completed, all of our customers have access to the API as well as a number of user interfaces that we've developed on top of the API. So the API is just an endpoint through which our customers can ask our servers, hey, do you have imagery here? What's some metadata behind that imagery? And I would like to download that image. Our imagery is really powerful because it allows us to uncover things like deforestation, agricultural change, monitoring geopolitical developments, analyzing shipping activity in ports. Planet was founded to use space to help life on Earth, and we have the capability to image that, but now we can translate those images into a, a massive data set that actually allows us to tap into that daily variation in the Earth's surface to really see the planet change.